you might charge your home battery overnight with cheaper off-peak energy. Unless, of course, it's going to be sunny. It doesn't make sense to pay to charge your battery when the solar panels will do that for you free. Well, I want to show you in this video that always paying to charge your battery overnight, regardless of the weather, could be better for you and the environment. Let's get into it. Hi there, I'm Gary and welcome back to my channel, Gary Does Solar. If your energy tariff offers cheaper off-peak rates overnight, it's ideal for charging your home battery. That means during the winter when there's not a great deal of solar generation, charging your batteries overnight every night could supply all your home energy needs at the cheaper rate. Then in the summertime when there's a lot of sun about, you don't need to charge your battery overnight because the sun's energy will charge it for free the next day. Of course, it might not be sunny every day, and so on those days you might still want to charge your home battery using off-peak import. And some people go as far as putting in place automated management that keeps an eye on the weather forecast and only charges the battery overnight if the next day is not going to be sunny. But here's the thing, if you get paid for any solar generation you export, then depending on the amount you get paid, paying to charge your battery overnight all year round, regardless of the weather, could be good for you and the environment. You certainly won't be worse off financially, and you won't need to keep an eye on the weather forecast in order to manually program your battery, nor would you need to invest in any automated software to do the same. Now I can already hear you saying, surely it's better to save money on charging overnight, because the sun will fill the battery quickly, perhaps as soon as mid-morning, allowing you to get paid export from then on anyway. So how can we prove one way or the other whether always charging overnight is better? I mean, everyone's situation is different. There are so many factors to consider. Battery capacity, import rates, export rates, daily usage profile, solar array details, battery charge rate, battery discharge rate, inverter size, and even export limitation. And of course, all these factors will be different for everyone. But actually, we can get to an answer quite quickly by using a software modeling utility. And I developed one recently called Solar Asthma Suite and it's available online to everyone who signs up for my Patreon here. I developed this utility so that people could use it to model various permutations of solar, battery, and even energy tariff at their location and in different weather conditions. And I've purposely kept the monthly fee to access this and other utilities in the suite extremely low so that it's affordable to everyone. I'll be using this modeling utility in this video to answer the question around always charging your battery overnight or not. We'll model against the following smart tariffs available from Octopus Energy in the UK. Octopus Go, Intelligent Octopus Go, and Octopus Flux. But you can, of course, model any tariff you like, including the one that you're on today. OK, let's get started with Octopus Go. Octopus Go has a standard import rate of 26.37 pence and an off-peak rate of just 9 pence between 12.30 a.m. and 4.30 a.m. In addition, there's a fixed export rate of 8 pence. I should say that the prices quoted are correct at the time of recording, so if you're watching this video at a later date, they may have changed since. OK, let's do some modelling of this tariff using Solar Asthma Suite. I've set up the utility with my location, a 5 kilowatt peak south-facing solar array, and a 10 kilowatt hour battery. I've also set it up to be a nice sunny day in June. As you can see, we get a nice solar generation bell curve across the day, totaling 40 kilowatt hours. I've set up a typical home energy usage profile like so, consuming 15 kilowatt hours over the whole day. And I've programmed in the Octopus Go tariff, which you can see here. Moving down, you can see the energy import and export, and also the changing state of charge of the battery throughout the day. Now, regular users of this utility can see that in this latest version, the initial state of charge for the battery is not zero. In previous versions, the state of charge would always start at the minimum, in this case zero. But actually, that doesn't give an accurate reflection of what would happen in real life. This is because any remaining state of charge at the end of the day is already the starting state of charge for the next day. So the utility now keeps running the model over two or more days until the start and end of day state of charge reaches equilibrium, like so. And this means that we can draw more meaningful conclusions from the data as a result. Thanks to Tim from Tim and Cat's Green Walk for the suggestion. 
We're ready then to test our hypothesis that charging the battery overnight isn't financially worse off for us if the next day is going to be sunny. Right now, with no charging overnight, there is no import expenditure at all due to the high amount of solar generation. And you can see that the battery becomes fully charged by 10 a.m. and we're exporting from 9 a.m., which brings in £1.85 of export revenue. Now let's force charge the battery during the four hour off peak period of Octopus Go. A couple of things have changed now. You can see that we imported 61 pence of energy to charge the battery. And because the battery reached a 100% state of charge much quicker, we were able to start exporting earlier too, generating £2.41 of revenue. This results in an overall income of £1.80, which is to all intents and purposes the same as before. So what are the benefits of charging the battery overnight, even if it's going to be sunny the next day? I see three benefits really, one for you and two for the environment. Firstly, there's no guarantee it will be sunny the next day, and quite often weather forecasting software gets it wrong. So by always charging your battery overnight, you'll be able to cover your daily home usage the next day, no matter what happens with the weather. Secondly, by charging your battery overnight, you're increasing demand on the grid at a time when grid use is low. And this helps flatten the national demand curve, which is great for the environment. And thirdly, by doing this, you've exported more clean energy onto the grid, which reduces the need for fossil fuels to be burned. And if you're thinking that charging overnight is going to be harder on your battery, it's actually no different. If you look at the chart again, it's exactly the same number of cycles. In our model here, half a cycle per day. Let's now look at a special variant of Octopus Go called Intelligent Octopus Go. Intelligent Octopus Go has the same standard import rate as Octopus Go at 26.37 pence, but the off-peak rate is even lower at 7.5 pence. In addition, the off-peak period is longer, running from 11.30pm all the way through to 5.30am. Actually, the off-peak period can be even longer than that at times, as determined by Octopus Energy, but we'll ignore that for our purposes today. Like Octopus Go, there is also a fixed export rate, but it's much higher at 15 pence. Let's repeat the modeling that we did before using this tariff. I've kept all the settings the same, except for the tariff settings, which you can now see here are set up for intelligent Octopus Go. Without any overnight charging, you can already see that the export income is much higher than for Octopus Go. And this is simply due to the higher export rate. It's £3.46. So let's see what happens when we charge the battery overnight. You might be surprised at this, but the overall income increases to four pounds and one pence. Yes, there is now 51 pence of import expenditure, but there was also four pounds 52 of export income generated as soon as the battery reached 100%. So if you're on Intelligent Octopus Go and you always charge your battery overnight, you've not only got the three benefits I mentioned earlier, but there's now a fourth benefit as well you earn a little more money. Finally then, let's look at Octopus Flux. Octopus Flux has a slightly lower standard import rate of 23.84 pence, but it has both an off-peak and a peak period. The off-peak period runs from 2 to 5 a.m. with a rate of 14.3 pence, and the peak period is at the same length, starting at 4 p.m. with a rate of 33.37 pence. And unlike the previous tariffs, export is not fixed. There's a standard export rate of 14.58 pence, then an off-peak rate of just 4.98 pence, and a peak rate of 24.05 pence. The off-peak and peak export rates coincide with those of import. Let's repeat the modelling for a final time then. Again, all the settings are the same except for the tariff settings, which are now set up for Octopus Flux. Without any overnight charging, you can see that the export income is £3.39. Let's see what happens when we now charge the battery overnight. Again, you can see there is a draw from the grid in the morning to fill the battery, which then allows for a lot more export from when the battery becomes full. And the overall income remains pretty much the same. So again, if you're on Octopus Flux and you always charge your battery overnight, you get the same three benefits as the other tariffs. Octopus Energy has a fantastic range of smart tariffs to suit everyone's situation, 
and they're the only energy provider in the UK that I recommend simply because they're well ahead of the competition and they're pushing the boundaries on sustainable living. If you switch to Octopus using my referral code here, not only will you get £50 credited to your bill, but you'll also actively be helping my channel, as I'll also get £50. A huge thank you to all of you who have supported me in this way. It's helped out a lot. In summary then, there are real benefits to be had by always charging your battery overnight, but those benefits do depend on these factors here. And that's why spending a little time with the Solarasma modelling utility is worth it, to see if the benefits are there for your situation. Why not sign up today and give it a go? Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and until next time, thanks for watching.